Hey guys, I wanted to talk to you about my bass drum pedals um, and my foot technique, I guess. I've been playing drums for about 40 years, mostly metal, and I have, you know, always been searching for, you know, that trick, that technique to play the fastest possible, right? I guess it started... You know, I never was a death metal guy. And then, um, you know, I guess around early 90s, you know, I started to listen to a little bit of death metal. But it was more like, uh, wow, that's crazy, but they got nothing out of too, you know. But when Painkiller came out from Judas Priest, that album changed my whole ideas on things. I mean, prior to that, you know, Lars Ulrich and uh, Charlie Benante and Dave Lombardo were the, and uh, Nick Menza, they were the ultimate guide for metal drumming, in my opinion, you know. But then when, I mean... When the Judas Priest Painkiller album came out, every song on that thing has double bass, and it's a lot of it's fast double bass, and he follows the guitars on the riffs with his double bass, and I hadn't heard anything like that before. And I was like, whoa, that's awesome, you know? It's really exciting. And then after that, you know, when Judas Priest broke up for a little bit there, the drummer and Rob Halford started Fight. And the style of drumming that he did in that uh, group was, I mean, it's very common now, but before that it was not common at all. But his kick drums followed the riff almost identical. And there was like lots of odd time feels and all that stuff, you know. It, it just was unheard of prior to that, right? So I've always, like, wondered how, you know, how, how do you get that, you know? How are you able to, to work that out, you know? Even, I mean, it's, it's a constant quest, right? I bought an electronic kit, and so I've been trying to, you know, get adjusted, you know? Never played electronic kits prior to this. I also um, bought some new equipment, bought some new gear, uh, bought some new hardware, and the double bass pedals I bought are Tama Iron Cobra 200s. The low on the totem pole, you know? I've always felt like it doesn't, it shouldn't matter what equipment you're using to an extent. I've always believed that your technique is 90% of what you do. I mean, you listen to some of the old stuff, like, in the 60s and the Led Zeppelin stuff and I mean there's things going on drum wise you know that I'm like whoa that people today have a hard time playing you know and the equipment was not as good back then as it is now so it's like you know come on right I also believe that you know people it's just human nature probably everyone wants to to find a shortcut right and I've always believed that there's no shortcut if you don't have a, a solid foundation you're probably not going to be able to you know grow that much from it you know you always I think ultimately have to have a solid foundation in the 2000s I was playing in a band called internal hate and we were a heavy thrash metal verging on death metal and it was the heaviest music I had ever played up to that point. Honestly, before that project, you know, you know, the heaviest stuff I listened to was Slayer or Carcass. When we started that band, I got exposed to some heavier stuff. And one of the primary influences to, for me at that time was the band Vader. I never, I mean, I'm just like, that drumming, I was just like, God, this can't be, you know. I always thought maybe the most extreme drums I had heard at the time was like Fear Factory, you know, because 
God, that guy's double base is insane, but fucking Vader, man. It's like, how the hell do you want do this, you know? Bobby, our singer at the time for the band, he had gotten the Vader DVD, and it was a live concert, and we watched it. And I just, I mean, I would just watch it, play it, and play it, and play it, and watch that drummer. Find out how he was doing that shit, you know? It ultimately boils down to, like, economy of motion. And if you're going to play fast for long periods of time, you don't want to waste energy. You know, and talking to di different drummers, especially drummers who are in that genre, you know, finding out what they do, how they set up things, watching instructional videos. Everyone in the death metal community has always, you know, preached that, you know, you've got to take your springs and tighten them up as much as you possibly can. Adjust the beater so, like, when it's resting, it's really close to the bass drum head. Up until recently, I probably would have said that's exactly right. So since I've gotten this equipment, you know, and also, you know, my pedals aren't as good as they, when I'm used to playing, right? I'm like, well, I've got to, you know, figure out, you know, set it up as best as I can, you know, and... You know, so anyway, you start experimenting. That's what I did. And I remember reading an interview in the 90s with Vinnie Paul. And he said, your feet should be able to do whatever your hands can do and vice versa. Well, I was like thinking about it. And I was like, well, if that's the case, then, you know, your pedals are your drumsticks, right? But for your feet. And, you know, your feet should maybe in a sense stay out of the way and let the pedals do the work right i've you know recently been watching lots of um videos with uh gene hoagland and uh i've even fortunately been able to chat with him on twitch and dude the guy's awesome he's a really good guy he's willing to share everything he knows and man i you know the guy's an inspiration in many ways he said you know uh he sets his pedals up to where, you know, his pedals aren't doing anything special for him. They don't hinder him, but they don't help him. Um, oh, and another inspiration for, like, foot, just for drumming in general, but foot technique, hand technique, is Jojo Mayer. He does the, the heel-toe technique. The way he sets his pedal up to do that was interesting. He basically sets his pedal up to where... The bass drum pedal spring is just there. The only, basically, the only purpose it serves is to keep the pedal together. And there's very, there basically, it's the minimal amount of tension on that spring. Additionally, he sets it up to where his beater in the resting state is super way back. I mean, it's almost touching your foot. Those, in combination with his technique, allow him to, I mean, he can play... I mean, he can play so fast with one foot, it's like double bass. And if, you know, I'm like, wow, if I had that technique, I wouldn't need double pedal. And if I had that technique and I used the double pedal, can you imagine, right? So I was like, that's how I'm going to set my pedal up, just to experiment, because, you know, it doesn't matter. We're going to see what happens. Anyway, that's how I set my pedals up and started playing. And uh, I ain't going to lie, it was an adjustment. It wasn't because, you know, fuck, for years, man, I'd been playing with my tension all the way up, you know. And there was times when I, I felt like I was fighting my pedals, like they were actually being a hindrance instead of helping me. And now that I have this set up the way I do, my pedals, I don't feel like I'm fighting them, no matter what the tempo is. I don't know. Um, b before, when I would hit my pedals, start you know flying right um there would be times where i was like outrunning my pedal if you will and so there would be times where i don't know i would lose a i would lose a hit because i was either playing faster than my pedals could rebound or vice versa my pedals were you know rebounding faster than i maybe i anticipated and that's why I say I was fighting my pedals because, you know, it wasn't helping. And now, 
with the way I have it set up, I don't feel like that that's an issue. I feel like, you know, and that's it, you know. If I do a double, it's right there, a triple. You know, do that. And I believe, for me, I've kind of cracked that code, right? So anyway, now I feel like I'm playing double bass faster than maybe I ever have before and with a lot less uh, expenditure of energy. I mean, it's completely opposite of everything I've ever learned and been taught and heard. I wanted to, to show you guys what I've been doing. And in addition, I did it with, since I'm playing on an electronic kit, I did it without the sound of the module because I didn't want people to say, oh, he's double triggering. That's why he's playing so fast. Or, you know, this, that, or the other. So the sound you get is what's coming off of my pedal hitting the actual pad. You know, so it's not going to sound the greatest, right? But it's not, it's not, you know, altered in any way. Anyway, I'm excited about it because it's awesome. I feel like I can play and my pedals aren't even there. I wanted to, you know, so like here, you know, um, you can see like there's there's no my foot doesn't leave that footboard it's like there <laughs> if i lift up it follows me and that's awesome i just man and i just it's if you see the pedal it's so responsive and mind you this is thomas lowest end pedal i mean they've got way better lines and i'm able to play at this speed with these pedals and you know I think that's awesome I really do I mean Tom has always made good products you know they're definitely reliable and they make good stuff you know but they also make really great stuff <laughs> and the, you know uh, honestly this pedal isn't the top of the line but man I mean if you see that like look like and I am like not even exerting myself here you know I mean I'm just playing naturally and I'm just like able to go like there you know and I've tried to follow other techniques of death metal drummers you know doing the swivel foot and stuff but as you can see I'm getting some speed here and I'm just doing foot or heel down you know and uh, man I'm just like I said I'm really excited about it I thought I'd share it with you guys. I don't know if, you know, um, you know, I realize, you know, some of this example stuff, I'm not playing the absolute fastest music out there, but, you know, I can, I mean, some of the stuff I've been doing is like, insanely fast and I'm just so surprised by how accurate it is and just it's authentic it's I'm not like cheating anything and you know God so I wanted to share this because if it can help someone that's awesome and we always should try to help each other out here and share our knowledge so anyway I hope you uh, maybe can watch this and be inspired Maybe have some ideas of your own and please, you know, share your ideas and your comments and please, you know, if you have any other ideas, let me know, man. That's why I've been doing this. I think it's fun. So thank you for watching. I appreciate, I appreciate it. I appreciate you being friends with me. I appreciate the support. Take care of yourself and we will see you soon, man. Thanks. Back.